Hi, uh, level up your apprentice. So we can take it from beginner all the way up to advanced, all the way up to elite, uh, just with one simple move. So hi, I'm Miss Angie, and I teach a trick series every month, and we use progressions like these I'm gonna show you today. So if you have your apprentice, or if you're working on apprentice, or if you're like, what the heck is apprentice? Because sometimes the name is different no matter where you go, right? <laughs> so here's what I, uh, I'll show you the first part. So um, I call this anchor, and I can't remember why I call it that. I think it was a very long time ago. Okay, so it looks like this. So that would be the first variation of Apprentice that I would recommend. And I like to use my thigh as sort of a, like a fulcrum point. So if my aunt, I like to start already halfway there. So if I'm already halfway there, then I don't have as much to travel. So it's great. So I put my, <laughs> I put my gun grip in my hand and I press through the palm. So this bottom hand is not a grip, but rather a push through the palm. So the bottom hand's pushing through the palm, top hand is a grip, and the thumb is up right by my face. So then I lean over, creating a little fulcrum point for the top of my thigh. Opening up is what I call apprentice. So anchor, keeping it tight, apprentice, ta-da, coming on out. So then we can progress this and turn it into a butterfly. Some of you already know this move. So we'll turn it into a butterfly by hooking the heel at the top and rotating head down towards the bottom. So if I'm thinking of lining up my nose and my belly button with the pole, I have to drop my head and then push out. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So you hit your anchor and you're like, holla, look at that. And then you straddle and you're like, perfect. And then you put your ankle on and now I'm gonna drop. So I'm gonna let my hand slide, drop my head, and then push through that space. So that whole movement where I came across the pole was just me shifting my weight by dropping the bottom hand down. So all I did was loosen up the bottom grip, the bottom push rather, and I let it slide down and it allowed my head to go from here woo, all the way down to here. And then once it was down here, then I pushed. And so just know if you start right here and your head is here when you start, that your head will be on the almost the exact opposite side of the pole when you do your butterfly. So knowing that when you want to face uh, direction when you're on stage or you're presenting this and you have static pole, that could be a really good cue. So if that feels, you're like, Angie, that's so easy. <laughs> now what do I do? Then I go from the apprentice and I lock my leg with my tricep instead of my heel on the pole. So it looks like this. Here's the anchor, here's the straddle, and then push. So then I use my tricep, I'll come back out through it, as a fulcrum point. So there's all these points where I'm rotating off of my own body so I don't have to muscle through it, right? So hopefully those are really awesome tips that help progress you from anchor to apprentice to butterfly to apprentice butterfly without the heel, yes? God, just remember uh, any month I'm doing these trick series called Pole Fit Trick Series, and you can join anytime. It's a four week series, so you can come in a little later and still get the recordings from the other classes. And uh, hopefully see you there. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye. <laughs>